consider supporting Archaea Soup on Patreon for as little as a dollar per month. Link available in video description. Thank you. Did you know? These days when I check my pockets, I find bags for walking the dog, and if I'm really lucky, some spare change. Sometimes spare coins turn up in the car, and occasionally an intrepid hand between the cushions of the sofa will yield some coins. Some people collect such coins on a plate. Others have a novelty solution for storing their shrapnel. And of course there's the good old-fashioned piggy bank, which, even if it's Darth Maul, is still a piggy bank. Why is that? One of the oldest known money boxes comes from the ancient Greek colony of Priene in modern Turkey. This site is known for a magnificent temple of Athena, built by Alexander the Great but also for another temple, a miniature hollow clay model with a slit in the pediment for coins. This was a money box from the 2nd century BC. 400 years later, in AD 200, at the site of Pfaffenhofen in Bavaria, Germany, a Roman money box was found. Similar to pots and caskets from around the Roman world, there was a slit in the top for coins to go in. Flash forward several hundred years, and in the Middle Ages, clay pots were a fairly inexpensive and accessible form of storage. Earthenware pots in particular were easy to produce and affordable. And, short of having a metal-lined treasure casket, many people had a small money pot made of clay. At this point, things get a bit anecdotal. Supposedly, there was a clay known as pig clay, and the pots were called pig pots. The origin of the word pig is unclear in this context. After all, the Old English for pig was swin, or occasionally pigga, and by the time of Middle English, this had taken a step closer to the word pig that we would recognise today. In truth, I can find no period references to pig clay. In the mid-15th century, in Scotland and parts of England, earthenware pots were sometimes called pig, and occasionally the word pig was spelled in a strange, localised way. This practice probably had its origin from the word piggin, P-I-G-G-I-N, describing a wooden bucket, or an earthenware equivalent. So the word describes the implement, a bucket, not the earthenware material. But, according to the popular myth, by the 19th century, the word for clay had merged in people's minds with the animal, and so a money pot became a piggy bank. Now, it must be said, I love wordplay and a good pun above almost anything else. But in this instance, a strange folk etymology has attached itself to piggy bank. There's no linguistic connection between the animal and a type of clay. After all, in 14th century East Java, terracotta piggy banks in the shape of wild boar were being produced without a need for an English linguistic mix-up. So the origin of the word piggy bank may in fact come from the 20th century, referring to a cute way to store money. However, the vessel described by the words piggy bank is indeed an ancient concept. A solution to a universal problem. Where to keep valuable things. Of course, another solution is the treasure chest, my hearties! <laughs> but in reality, pirates rarely buried their treasure, William Kidd being the only recorded instance of a pirate doing so. Nonetheless, a treasure chest is my preferred destination for spare change, along with plenty of gaudy costume jewellery. 